Hi, today we're going to be putting a TNC connector onto RG59 cable. Uh, the first thing I like to do is to get a nice clean cut. Careful not to crush the cable. Oh, that was very good. Okay, now that we have a clean cut, we can go ahead and put our shrink tubing on. We can put our little coupler on. And then I'm going to take my uh, Pro's kit cable stripper. This has been adjusted to the widest setting and the depth, proper depth for RG59 cable. So that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna peel back this braid, braided shield. Now, if these wires start coming off in your fingers, that means that your cutter is too deep and you need to adjust the cutter to make it not cut so deep. All right, so we got that pulled back. Now we wanna be careful that the foil here is not getting smushed and having any chance of touching the center conductor here. So if you're worried about that, if it looks like it could, you can always just give it a quick trim just to trim off just the foil. Now we're gonna cut the center conductor down to the right length, which is four, four to five uh, millimeters. Right there. Now we're ready to put on our center pin. So the center pin is gonna get crimped on with this. We're gonna be using the 0 0.068 center pin crimper crimping die, we're going to put the center conductor into the pin, crimp it, and now it's attached and it's not touching the foil. Next we're going to slide on our actual connector. I usually will turn it in the way that the foil is wrapped, so if it's wrapped like that, I'll turn it counterclockwise. So go on and you'll hear a little click. Okay, that's attached. Now you're gonna push the braid back towards the connector. And where's my rest of this thing? One second. Okay, so we can push this back up towards the connector and you'll see the wires are sticking out. So those just need to be trimmed a little bit. You don't wanna cut them off all the way because this is what actually is gonna hold the connector together. But you wanna cut them so they're cut basically right here, right where this, um, this transition is. Okay, so those look good. Now we're gonna use the 0.255 crimper. Get it right on there, make sure everything's nice and tight. And we're good. Now we have a good connector and it's pretty secure. If it was gonna have any movement on this cable, you'd probably wanna throw on an adhesive lined, adhesive lined uh, shrink tubing just to get it more secure. So I can go ahead and demonstrate that. I'm using my Milwaukee heat gun. So this could be done in a field, field operation. And you'll hold this heat on here until you'll see the adhesive start to, start to peek out. And I'll tell you that it's melted. Let me see if we can see that here. You'll see the adhesive start to peek out from underneath the rubber. And so this all looks pretty good. We can give it a quick test. And I'll test to make sure that there is continuity on the center conductor. Hold on. Which there is. 
and we should get no, no tone on the outside. That's the shielding, so that should only have continuity shielding to shielding, not center conductor to shielding. So this looks good. This is a good cable.